Hello everyone, welcome to Physiology. My name is Emily Reed, I'm gonna be your instructor this semester, and I'm really excited to be here together for Physiology. So this is gonna be a hybrid version of Physiology. We will primarily be running the class online, but we'll also get to meet together in person for labs. So um, I wanted to give you a few notes just about sort of tackling an online class if you haven't done this before, um, or even if you have done this before, just some suggestions for you as you do sort of get a good start on this semester. Uh, I do think that it's especially important with an online class to have some set times in your schedule for studying and for tackling the course. So since we won't be meeting together for lecture, um, there's a little bit more of a, a burden on you to make sure that you are setting aside um, those specific times throughout the week to really study and digest the material that we're going through online. So that's one thing. Another thing is just sort of some practical notes about working in Canvas. So if you go to Canvas, on our homepage there will be some instructions about getting started in the class. And basically it's going to tell you to go to Modules. The Modules link is on the left hand side of your screen. You'll go over to Modules and then basically all of the course content is laid out there in the Modules section. A module is basically just a chunk of material. Roughly each module corresponds to a chapter in the textbook. So generally what we'll be doing is working through one module per week. When you start a module, note that it is important to work through things in the correct order. You should always start at the top of the module and work your way down one thing at a time. Or just click next when you get to the bottom of each page. Um, and that's really important because if you did things out of order, right, you might be quizzed on something that you haven't even studied yet and we don't want that to happen. So make sure that you're working through things in the correct order. Just work top to bottom on the modules page. Um, and in fact, another note along those lines, I have the module set up to, it's a little bit restrictive. You have to complete the earlier stuff before it will allow you to move on to later stuff. So if you ever are trying to access something and it looks like it's locked or not accessible, it's probably because you haven't finished something that's up above it. So you can just double check, okay, where am I at? What do I need to still complete up here? And then I'll be able to access this later thing. So that's kind of some notes about working in Canvas. Um, Canvas also has a to-do list, which is kind of handy. The to-do list tells you upcoming assignments and their due dates. So things like quizzes and exams are gonna show up on the to-do list but don't rely too heavily on the to-do list, right? There's a lot more to the course than just quizzes and exams. There's all the lecture content. So instead, I, I would encourage you to just, again, go over to modules and work through the course there. You'll come to all those quizzes and exams if you're working through um, the course in that way. Anyway. Okay, I mentioned we'll be meeting in person for labs, and there are a few notes to go along with that before we actually meet up and get going on that. Um, due to ongoing COVID, there are a few, a few caveats in place. For us to be able to meet in person, we will need everybody to wear a mask while you are inside in the lab room. So you'll need your mask on before you come into the room. If you forget your mask on a given day, we will have some disposable ones available. So, um... Uh, the other thing is very important, if you are sick or if you have any symptoms of a cold, don't come to lab. Instead, you can send me an email, let me know that that's why you are not attending lab that week, and we'll work together. This is not something that will negatively affect your grade, okay? um, so we would, we would definitely ask that you not come if you are sick. Just let me know and we'll work together to figure out the best path forward in, in your situation. And aside from that, I think those are all the introductory introductory notes I needed to give you. So aside from that, I'm looking forward to working together this semester. I was a student at Merced College as well many years ago, um, so I'm excited to be teaching here again now. And like many of you, I'm juggling lots of things too. I have two kids and one husband, and we're working together to work from home. So I'm sure many of you are in the same boat or similar boats um, and looking forward to, to getting to know you this semester. So feel free to be in touch, send me a message if you have any questions. You can also post in the Q&A discussion that's on Canvas. That's a general question and answer place that I can post to, any of the other students can post to as well. And I'm hoping that'll be a good communication method. So anyway, I'll see you guys in lab in person and we'll talk more then.